Hi guys, it's Grace Pike. I'm back with Five Features, and today we're at Bassett Furniture here in Fayetteville talking with Marla and Lee about their store. I'm Marla Webb, and I'm the senior designer here at Bassett Furniture, and today I'm going to show you a very simple tablescape that anyone can accomplish. And I'm Lee Farmer. I'm the owner at Bassett Furniture in Fayetteville. We are located across from the Target Shopping Center. Um, today we are also going to have a giveaway. One of our fabulous designers has put together this gorgeous fall wreath. She used very intense, vibrant colors and also incorporated some blues to be on trend. Marla will talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. Okay, Grace, so today what I'd really like to do is start with just a, a kind of a clean table set. This could be any size table in your home, anywhere in the house. It, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our placemats because so we're going to place the, the placemats exactly where they would be if you were setting it for your, for your regular dining. That way your tablescape is never wider or longer than your placemats. It won't encroach on, the, on your place setting. There's nothing like getting, you know, dried flowers in your suit. And then we're going to come in with the very first thing. It's just something that I picked up at our local craft store. It's got great, rich fall colors. You're going to make sure that it's all plumped and full, so you can start on that end and fluff just a little bit. Make sure everything is kind of up and out. Tuck in, I think your end is good. My end needs to be tucked just a little bit to keep the stem from showing. And let's make sure it's evenly pitched from one end to the other, it looks great. Now, to keep it from being quite so flat, I'm gonna take one end and I'm just gonna lift it just a little bit so that one side has just a little bit of a lift, so everything's not completely level. Next, I'm gonna bring in just a little bit of texture, okay, because this just feels a little bit empty still. Okay, so Grace, I'm gonna add just a little bit of texture today because this still feels just a little bit flat. Again, I got this at my local craft store. It's not expensive. And I'm just gonna label, layer, <laughs> I'm gonna layer it in. There you go. You don't have to, you don't even have to twine it together. Because of the textures, it stays just where you put it. Now we have just enough texture and it's just wide enough to be really pretty. Now I'm gonna start putting some, some additional layers in to give it some height. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna start layering in things that you probably already have in your okay. home. And these are just candlesticks that we pulled from another part of the store. And I'm going to start with the shorter one on the end. We're just going to set it in. And if you don't mind, put yours kind of close to the middle. Maybe just tuck it in the middle to give it the height in the center, but just off of the main, the main place mat so that someone's not looking straight into it. Gotcha. Okay. And that coincides with the height that I put here. And then just tuck that in there. I'm gonna pull just a few more candlesticks to give it just a little bit more texture. I also see your opening thickness and colors and different shapes. Exactly. Staying with the black to match the black on those and then just staying with some of the more fall colors. Okay. I'm gonna put this again just off center. So again, we're not looking straight into it. And I'll put one on this end if you'll put one on that end. And now we've kind of got a nice balance that travels throughout the length of the tablescape, okay? Now I'm just gonna add some fillers and this is gonna be the easy part. Okay. Okay, the next thing that we wanna do is we actually wanna take this from just a typical tablescape with all the fall beautiful colors to something that actually matches your home. Okay. So this particular setting in the store has all the wonderful blues that are right on trend. A lot of our customers are gonna have that. It's doubtful that you're gonna have an orange wall to match all this great orange <laughs> decor. So we're gonna actually bring in the color of our furniture. Okay. And it really gives it a higher design and makes it feel right on trend. And I see we've got multiple fl flower designs here. That's right. I tried to get just two different styles and we wanna work in odd numbers. So we've got seven to put in. Okay. And typically I wanna keep them clustered. I don't wanna run it all the way through both ends. So if you'll put a few of yours on that end, I'm gonna put the rest on this Does end. Does it matter how we put them in? I typically cluster two at a time and then move the, the next one off just a little bit. Okay. So we may start just tucking it in like so. So put one down low. 
take your other flower and put it a little bit higher, facing the opposite direction. Alternate again with your flower once you get that one all tucked in. And make sure you're kind of heading in opposite directions so that everything doesn't face the same way because remember, everyone's looking at it from a different perspective. That's a great point. Okay, so we'll take your last flower and just make sure you go in the opposite direction. Tuck it in. You'll want to step back and kind of review what you've done and make sure everything feels balanced and even before we move on to the next step. And let's try to keep our stems where they don't show as much as possible. Okay, that's then, a great tip. Yeah, and I have pre-cut all of these flowers to be a little bit shorter than you would actually find them in the hobby store so okay. that you don't have a lot of stems to hide. Gotcha. Okay, now we're gonna fill in with, with the balance of the tablescape and we will have this one completed. Sounds like a plan. All right. Tuck a little bit of the textural berries that we've got in here, just to fill in and add that just little bit We're of additional this color. To our flowers already. That's right. Just kind of throughout like that. I'm going to bring in some pumpkins, and then we'll talk about all the dishes. So again, I went to the craft store and bought a lot of different colors. Try these actually came this way, which I was thrilled with because they're just a great shade of blue that that kind of mimics yes. what we have here. I'm going to put one on this end. If you'll put one on the front on that end, and try not yeah there you go. Try not to keep it too flat. And I'm going to bring in several different colors to keep our tablescape very colorful. I'm going to finish out the edges. Does it matter? how you put them into the tablescape? Just so long as we have like a little bit of color all the way through. So put your orange wherever you'd like it and we'll balance it on the other end. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't look right when you stand back and look at it, you can reconfigure. There's okay. no rhyme or reason, there's no right or wrong. I mean, anybody can do this and it's just super simple. And then I'm gonna bring in some smaller pieces to tie out the ends, so just lay those towards the end to lengthen the, the space. And then maybe tuck that right there just to keep it balanced on both sides. Okay, that feels fantastic. So the next step is really to do the dishes. Okay, okay this is the easiest part of the whole process. So I got these at a local craft store, mm -hmm. and this is what's gonna help us take the tablescape just up a, a notch. Okay. We're gonna start with regular latex house paint, just what you use for your walls. Okay. And we're going to start painting our pumpkin. And it's really quite simple. Just hold the, the leaves up and just start covering the pumpkin with color. And it's just that simple. It actually dries really quickly. So once it's all done, just set it aside for about 30 minutes and it's ready to go to the next part. This would be great to do with kids and get them involved in the holidays. Absolutely. It's so easy. And the trend right now is to take colored pumpkins and place them throughout the house and use whatever colors you have in that room to make it feel on trend and special. You still get that fall feel, but you don't have to make everything orange. <laughs> I think that's a great way to look at it. And as you can see, it's just a simple process. So easy. So rather than complete this today, since we we're trying to show how to do the entire thing, we're gonna set these wet ones aside for okay. just a moment and just lay your brush on your plate and just grab one that's already painted. And I'm gonna show you how to do the glitter portion of the program today. And it's not, it's not a difficult thing. This is actually glitter glue. And you just pour a little bit in your plate. Okay, then you take your sponge brush. You just dip it in your glitter glue. And what I try to do is to get the, just the top portion covered a little bit. And you can use as much or as little as you want just enough to give it, so it's not quite so flat. How easy. It's really a simple thing, and kids love to do it. Like you said, my, my daughter helped me do all the rest of them. Then I'm gonna start traveling down the little indentions of my pumpkin. And there's, there's no wrong way to do this. We're just giving it just a little sparkle. This also takes about an hour to dry. 
So once you're done with this, just set it aside, let it dry, and it's ready for the tablescape. How easy and simple. I know. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna show you just a little trick that I picked up that you can do to make a great napkin holder. Not okay. everybody wants to spend a fortune on napkin holders. And because the styles and trends change pretty consistently, go to your floral pick section of your hobby store okay. and just pick a really wonderful floral pick. You just wanna curve the stem in to use to hold the napkin ring. Get it just so. You wanna take your napkin from square, pull the center up and hold it like that and then just wrap your floral pick around it, leaving a good portion of the napkin still out. Curl it till it stays pretty nice and tight, and it's ready to put on a plate. How simple. Yeah. Now this time to set the place settings. How do we do this? What's the proper way? That's really simple. You start with the largest piece, which is okay. your dinner plate, and just start layering. Take the next largest plate, okay down to the next, ending with your bowl, okay? okay? And now that we have all these pieces in place and all of our pumpkins completed, you just place those in, fluff your napkin, and you're finished. You have a gorgeous tablescape. Okay, now that we've got our, ta our dishes set, how do I properly set out our silverware? So on the right-hand side, you wanna put your knife down first with the flat edge towards your plate. Okay, and you go to your largest spoon, okay. your smaller spoon, and try to line the bottoms up, not the tops, okay? So they have a natural progression. And then on the left-hand side, your largest fork goes next, right next to your plate, with the smallest fork. Again, just lining up the bottoms. And then for the glasses, you're going to want to put your wine glass first to the top right of your place setting with your water glass just b beside it to the right. Perfect. And that's it. We do it a few more times and this table setting is complete. And we are ready for the holidays. That's right. So just a few follow-up tips for, for your viewers is that I've tried to use faux pumpkins instead of real ones because the real ones will eventually go soft and you don't want that to happen and you want to be able to leave your tablescape out and looking beautiful throughout the season. Okay. And then try to keep as much of this as you can handy for Christmas because you can reuse most of it. Just take the pumpkins out That's and great. everything else is reusable. I love when I can reuse my I know, decor. I know, absolutely. So happy Thanksgiving from Bassett. I hope this helps. And don't forget to like, share, and comment on this post for a chance to win this beautiful wreath made by one of the designers here at Bassett.